Jerry's 3D print. I got a new toy today. I'm excited about this toy because I ordered this with my own money um, six or seven months ago, however long it goes. This is the whole thing. And from what I understand, it is completely assembled. All I need to do is attach the spool holder and plug it in. From what I understand. This is the new Monoprice Mini Delta. I'm excited about this. This thing is supposed to be fully automatic, pretty much. Attach spool holder, load filament, hit go. And it's auto bed leveling and all that crap apparently. So we'll see. Very tiny print volume. But the print quality I saw is the same print quality that I loved on my Ender 2. Incredible, incredible print quality. So I'm hoping that it's consistent across their production line. So we're going to take a look. I'm going to pull this out of the box and get right back to you. There we go. 5 amp power brick, so I'm assuming there is not a heated bread in there. Metal spool holder. Micro USB cable. Plastic spatula, really. Three Allen keys. And a completely unmarked mystery micro SD card. There is nothing on this on the back nothing it's just a blank SD card <laughs> handle on the top you got a screen up front there with three buttons it's an itty bitty tiny Delta this looks like it's stupid easy to work I'm guessing the memory card goes in here clicks into place spool holder clicks into place I will use the roll that I got with my CR10 Mini, and that's it. Theoretically, plug it in and hit go. For those that like the plastic porn, here we go. Oh, yeah. Here you go. <laughs> People get a kick out of that. I don't know why. So, I will be right back to you after I boot this thing up and get it going. I don't even know why I stopped the video. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you plug it in, it's blink blue. You press the button, it turns green. And the screen turns on. And it does have a heated bed, a little itty bitty heated bed. There's your screen. I don't think it's a touch screen. Nope, you got three buttons along the side here. And it's showing the temperature. Oh wait, it's heating up. It's automatically heating oh that's right I believe this thing will automatically print if you name the file correctly on the SD card it's a noisy little bugger so it's trying to print something that it can't print because I didn't load filament yet <laughs> I'll be right back as I load filament. It would appear it has power off for zoom. As soon as I load the filament and turn it back on, it started going. Which kind of sucks because I got that big splooge pile that was in the way when I loaded the filament. Can you guys see that? And it's sticking, whatever it's doing. Uh, let me show it to you this way. So this way has the screen. Actually, let me just bring you guys down here. I didn't have to do a darn thing. I just turned it on. It heated up and started going. It's a noisy little bugger as you can hear, but I didn't have to level it. I didn't have to do anything. I just turned it on. I'm going to pause you guys for a minute while this prints some more. Since the build video is pretty much non-existent, we'll have a print video too. So I'll be right back. That's it. It's done. I got a time lapse too. It took 59 minutes at double speed. Looks like it's a 
Kitty cat! Can you see that? Probably not. There it is. Kitty cat. Let's see how easily it comes off. It's on a raft, so I imagine, yeah, it'll come off pretty easy. It's a cute little kitty cat. I love my printers print cats. Cats are cool. That's incredible. That's that's awesome. Apparently, I've I've been looking this up while I was um waiting for all this to finish. And apparently, if you name your G code file a specific name, it's like sta 00g or something like that. Start 00g or something like that. Um, considering I doubled the speed of this print, this is pretty nice. I queued up a whole bunch of test prints. What did I do with that? Oh crap, I already lost the SD card. Is it stuck in my arm? There it is. <laughs> it probably got stuck to my arm. I queued up a bunch of prints that I programmed for it in Simplify 3D. Some of them at 200 mics, some of them at 120 mics. And we shall see. This is cool. I think I'm going to have fun with this little printer. I'll be back after I make some more prints.